Oh shit, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, I hope you're having a wicked day. In this video we're going to be checking out another match from the Premier League. Uh, this is Manchester United versus West Brom Ajabian. Uh, it's quite an interesting game and also uh, this coming Sunday my team have to play West Brom in the cup. That's why I'm doing this video, just to have a look just ahead of our match. So yeah man, but before we get into the video I just want to speak about this guy, his name is Fred. Apparently he's a big fan of my channel, I've been told by a friend and I just want to say Fred thank you so much for watching uh, you know, I really hope these videos help and I hope you learn a couple things so I'm really glad you enjoyed the content and yeah hopefully one day if, if Bristol Dragons can get in the, in the league somehow I'd love to see you in the National League one day so thank you for watching but it's enough of that anyway let's get straight into the match and let's talk about some football Let's check it out. Alright, so here we go. Before I press play, I uh, just want to say uh, West Brom already won it up. But I'll show you in a minute. The graphics are blocking the pitch. So you can't quite see. But I'm just going to go over the team. Uh, for West Brom, we've got Dylan Kessel here. You've got Marcus Harrison here. You've got uh, Chris Gordon in goal. And this is Valentino Zagarelli from uh, Argentina. And then on the uh, Manchester United side. We've got uh, Liam Fitzpatrick, number 19. You've got uh, number 9, uh, Kieran Burns. You've got number 17, uh, Taylor, I believe. And number 25, uh, I've forgotten his name. Let me just see if I can. It's hard to remember, so I'm just going to. That's it, Drake Hudson, number 17. So, Ingo Hudson, Taylor, Burns. And Fitzpatrick, that's the team. So let's get straight into it. And yeah, let, let, let's have a look. Off the rip, I'm going to take it back because it was a goal. But you'll see in a minute. You see here, the graphics sort of blocking it. You can see Zagarelli goes through. He flicks it to Marcus. Marcus got a tap in. Uh, this is, uh, what, 20 seconds in. And yeah, so already that's mad. That's kind of poor defending, to be honest. I mean, just off the bat, like it's, you know, against West Brom, you've got to try keep a the first ten minutes at least. You've got to try stop a goal. That's how easy it is now. For my team, hopefully you guys are watching this before our cup match. We see uh, West Brom start quick. They don't mess about. They're straight in there. So first 10 minutes we need to concentrate, try not to give any space away. So I will look at West Brom for this match more than Manchester United. But see Chris there gives it straight to Zagarelli, Zagarelli's fighting. And you can see Zagarelli's a very physical player, he likes to dribble. So you need to be aware of that physically. So you need somebody strong to try to fight him. I'm not sure what's happening here. The ref's given a two on one. I can't tell what's happened here. Yeah, it looks like a two on one. Alright, so Marcus on the free kick. This match, I will only do the first 10 minutes. Now I've got Dylan Kessel blocking in Burns. Marcus gets in the middle. Let's see what's the play here. Zagarelli's open. Oof, didn't trust to shoot. That's a poor decision there, I think. Let me take that back. Let's see. If I take that back, was it a gap there? Let's see as he hits it. Yeah, see, there he's very unlucky. If you look here, there's a massive gap here. Massive gap. And obviously, he didn't trust to take advantage. Just hits it wide. It could have been a goal. But the keeper there was, was caught slacking a little bit. So it's a goal kick here. And just want to talk about the goal kick set up here. What United are doing is got, they've got the keeper behind. Uh, you've got the middle man taking the goal kick and you've got the two wingers sort of in the middle kind of. 
Uh, I think again, this is something we might have to do on the weekend because it might be risky taking letting the goalkeeper kick in it. Because usually what happens, the middleman here would sit here and there'd be a winger on either side here and here. But obviously, this is more of a defensive shape to make sure they don't concede. Again, something we might have to look at ourselves when we've got to play West Brom in the cup. Because he's like a really intercepts it, gets it to Dylan. It's a nice front bumper back. And this is good football here. Straight to Chris. Chris has a banger. And uh, Zagarelli's there. And he fakes the hit. So you can see there, if you stay in your shape, you've got to try and make West Brom move it around you. And if it's Fitzpatrick with the ball, takes on Chris, he wins the battle. He's going down the line. Can he get a flick out? Zagarelli's on. He leaves it for Kessel. And Kieran Burns batters him then. He batters Dylan and gives a free kick away. <laughs> Bit of physicality, you love to see it. So Chris is going to take it to Zagarelli. Zagarelli with a nice little touch, tries to cushion it around Taylor. See, and that there, I'm going to take that back. So I'm kind of struggling today. <laughs> My body's a bit weak. But anyway, Chris gives it in to Zagarelli there. And Zagarelli takes it down the line. And the key thing about this is if you take the ball down the line, the defender can't take the ball off you. All the defender could do is try to block you off. But because you've got outside line, you can just push into the wall, keep going. And that's what Zagarelli does. He uses his physicality, he uses the back wheel of his tread to push past. And now he's trying to flick. Flicks it to Chris. Chris gives it back to him. Zagarelli gives it back to Chris. Chris with a shot. And Chris just buries it, mate. Let's take that back. So it all starts here from Zagarelli's dribble down the line, like I was saying before. He gets it into the corner. Gets it into the corner here. Lucky the... Rotation there by Marcus. Marcus knows Zagarelli's coming, so he rotates around. That's good for Marcus. Chris is on, and I think the keeper here needs to go back a bit more. He's true. Like, you, your middleman's there. There's no need for you to be here as well. You should be in front around in this position here. And Jake there. It's just a one two. And you see what I mean? The, the positioning here is really bad. And here, if he's dead, then Burns has got to come forward. You know? But it's just a, it's an easy shot. And Chris has not really hit it hard. Or it's not really hit it in the corner. It's just a fairly... It's a decent shot. And it just you know, trickles in. Just feel like there. You just see that. You just need to be quick. That's uh, 2-0 no, in three minutes. Uh, Chris Corner is a decent little shot. It could have been defended better. But you know, it's easy to speak about it. Doing it is another, <laughs> another thing. So again, they give it straight to Chris. Chris gives it to Marcus. Marcus tries to take a touch. He gets past Taylor. He's dribbling. He blocks off Burns. Burns is good. He's touched tight. That's good, but Marcus gets the flick. Zagarelli really tries to give it back to him. And I thought the ref was going to give a 2 on 1. It's a good rotation there by Dylan Kessel. Trying to get out of the way. But Zagarelli, really, you see, very physical. He loves the dribble. And he's strong in contact. So, again, something we need to look out for when we're playing. Because it's very dangerous. The physical players, you know. It's kind of an old school way of playing, you know. Not, not a lot of players play like that nowadays. But again, Burns with the kick. He's deciding where to go. Gives it straight to Zagarelli. He's look at that little, little pass there. Zagarelli gives it back to Dylan. Hits it across to Marcus. Marcus back to him and Dylan Kessel just can't react to it. I must say he's very unlucky there. Could have been three right there. With five minutes in, you can see how let's probably move the ball about They're very quick. It's one, two, three, and it's in your net if you're not careful. Again, Zagarelli here 
Dylan straight across to Marcus. Marcus across, and that's uh, that's quite an easy goal. So again, let me take that back. So as you can see here, what do Manchester United do? Now the goalkeeper's taking the goal kick and they could see it from it. This is probably why they had Burns taking them. But you can see here from the position, Marcus here is covering Burns and Taylor. He's covering both of them by being in this gap. So the keeper doesn't know what to do. So instead he goes to Fitzpatrick, but you can see Zagarelli is already here. So that's the wrong choice, right? It's got to go to Taylor, right? Even though Marcus is there still, if you can hit it hard enough, you can escape. But instead, it goes to hit it to the middle, bends with a little weird flick. And Zagarelli intercepts it. And Dylan just hits it across. And it's an easy goal for Marcus. And again, when you're playing West Brom, you need to be careful from your own goal kicks. Because they will trap you in and they will punish. So again, my team, uh, Muscle Warriors, lads, if you're watching, we're going to have to be very careful with goal kicks. Uh, I've got a tactic we can use that I'll speak about on the day. Of how we can try to avoid those goal kicks. But you can see West Brom... Just dangerous. Again, not a great kick. Kessel jumps on it. Again, see Manchester United are trapped. And this will happen to us as well. 95% of the game will be in our own half. So you need to make sure you defend. And kicks like this, you have to be very careful. Just want to pause it here to talk about the setup. Can you see? They've got Marcus here, Zagarelli there, and Gordon here. So this whole area of the pitch is blocked off. And you've got Dylan Kessel, he's, he's waiting for any pass. So this is the problem when we're taking kicks. This is what they're going to do. They're going to trap you in. So what you might want to do is instead of trying to pass it down and get a pass, you might want to try to dribble this instead. Uh, dribbling won't be your friend here. Instead of trying to play it out from the back, you might be better off going old school and just trying to dribble out. That's good. Fitzpatrick gets the ball. But Zagarelli wins it. Again, he's on for the flick. He goes all the way. Marcus is there. And Zagarelli just drives it and that's somehow a goal. I don't understand how that's a goal. Let's take that back. So here Zagarelli gets the ball, Marcus moves out the way, it's good rotation here. But here I must say, he goes for the flick, fakes it, and there's a gap between the guys and it goes through. Yeah, that's just really bad defending. I'm sorry if you're a Man United player watching this, but damn, that's quite tough, you know. You don't expect goals like that to go in. Especially for a Premier League team, you know. you think they'll just defend a bit better than that. That's just poor. It's unlucky there. Just that you just need to cover the gaps, you know. It's not much more to it. I can't really explain what went wrong. It's just, just not covering the, the space. And the ball goes straight out. It's a United kick. Burns on the ball. Got Fitzpatrick down the line. And he's giving it to West Brom, okay. See what they're gonna do. Zach can really touch the ball there. Is the ball not in play? What's going on here? I have no idea. It's a substitution. Okay, Zach already comes off. Alright, I remember, I believe when I was watching this live, 
there was a problem with one of his straps or something so I had to sub Valentino off so they, uh, I think Dave, is that Dave Lewis? can't tell what's that? no it's Matthew Gilbert I think oh, no it's not it's a Scottish lad sorry I don't know what his name is but look at that pass from Chris straight to Dave Dave has come on what am I talking about? so Marcus and Zagaradi have both come off <laughs> I missed that completely and straight look at the speed Chris tries to block off and fake it you can you see the speed they take the throw bang straight instant you need to be ready for it Burns with the ball Fitzpatrick right in front of him looks like he's gonna go there yep and it that's better that's much better from the goal kick that's what I would want to do that's much better there Fitzpatrick there uses his bit of intelligence there. He knows that I can't get the pass to just let it run and they can advance with a free kick. Burns with the ball. And Burns has been quite good. He's been everywhere. Again, you can see where it's going. Oh, that's right, the Scottish lad. Yeah, Logan Mitchelson. I remember his name. <laughs> Here he is on the ball. It's flying Fitzpatrick. It's doing well. And he wins it. He tries to flick it back to Chris. Doesn't quite get the power. Fitzpatrick is on it. He's one on one with Chris. See, even trying to dribble past Chris is difficult. He wins the ball, flicks it to Dylan. Dylan with a little two touch. Takes it down the line. He's trying to win something there. It's good play. And the ref's given a penalty here. See, Birds did clip Dylan there. You can see Dylan Kessel here. Takes it down the line. And if you look here, there. You see that? Burns clips the back of Dylan's chair. So that is a penalty. It's unfortunate because it wasn't much contact. Wasn't much contact, but it's enough for a penalty. Let's see who takes it. Oh, sorry, it's outside the box, is it? Right, so it's not a penalty. It's a free kick. Okay, we're going to watch this free kick and then we'll call it a day. He goes across, fakes, Chris fakes it. And Dave just hits it wide there. He's unlucky. But anyway, that's going to be it. Uh, I think this game ends 9-0, if I correct. Let me see, yeah. The game ends 9-0 to West Brom, which is kind of ridiculous. But you know, you can see United just not defending the best. But you can see there it's very easy to lose against West Brom. You give them too much space, they will bury you for it. And their passing is quick. And I must say, Zaga ready in the middle, very physical player. He likes to dribble, he likes to battle. So you have to be careful with that as well. But yeah, man, it's going to be interesting. And yeah, we have to play them, like I said. So I hope we don't get battered too much. But let's see what happens, isn't it? But yeah, that's going to be it. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe and all that good stuff. But that's going to be it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in a bit. And peace. <laughs>